The anime Run With The Wind, in just 23 episodes, manages to perfectly express something that most fail to understand. Why people run. Screen time and character development is split almost equally amongst 10 different runners, all of whom have their own unique personalities and motivations. In any other sports anime, this would be unimaginable, as most choose to focus on just one or two characters. Even Haikyuu, which is routinely praised for its deep cast, only closely follows about seven players, with some receiving more development than others. When it comes down to it, every character in Haikyuu has the same basic motivation. To win, because they love playing volleyball and they want to be the best. It's simple. But Run With The Wind is different because running isn't really like that. Running is difficult, it hurts, and most runners aren't trying to become the fastest in the world. Don't get me wrong, in every sport there's more to it than just winning and being the best, but running takes this to a whole new level. Most runners aren't on any kind of team, they're not training for a marathon or even keeping track of their times. They're just running. Even if you love playing basketball by yourself and just shooting around, you still have the goal of getting the ball in the hoop. Running doesn't have that. There's nothing to really shoot for, and yet the people who love running, love running, love the pain, and will happily keep going until their legs fall off. And Run With The Wind understands this. In their final race, their coach Haiji admits that some races they just won't be able to win. To completely dismiss genetic differences and believe that you could become faster than Usain Bolt if you just trained hard enough is arrogant. But that's fine because although winning is a goal, that's not the sole reason why anyone on the team is doing it. And it's not like all of them think that running itself is fun or enjoyable. It's painful. Nobody's motivation is exactly alike, which allows for viewers to identify with at least one of the characters. Personally, although I see bits of myself in each runner, the story and arc that really spoke to me in particular was King's. When we first meet King, he's only focused on getting a job lined up for after graduation, and he sees running as a waste of time. Similarly, I tend to spend way too much time worrying about a future that I can't really control. It got to the point where I neglected the things and people that made me happy. I would really just sit around, longing for a time when I would have to stop doing the things that I enjoy and start the 8 to 5 grind. But for me, running became a great stress reliever, and it did the same thing for King. It's just an activity where I can clear my head and just worry about keeping my legs moving. King also has trouble making friends. He's too shy to approach people, but longs for a genuine connection all the same. But being a member of the team, having that built-in friend group to spend time with loosened him up and gave him the experiences he always wanted. And I went through the same thing in high school. I didn't really have many friends, and by the time senior year rolled around, I figured it was too late to really get them. But that same year, I joined cross country, and suddenly I had a group of people who I was forced to spend time with. It became much easier to express myself, and some of my best memories took place on that team with those people. But that's just one character, one story that I happen to identify with. There are nine more characters, each with their own arcs. They're all united under a common goal, but each of them has their own separate reasons for running, all of which are treated as equally valid. It's in this way that the show's lack of focus and large ensemble cast really fits the sport. Whereas other anime might have all the characters consumed by the one purpose to be the best and therefore only need to focus on one or two, Run With The Wind recognizes the diversity in running. Slower characters aren't seen as less important than fast ones, and their achievements are given the same celebration. What's a good time for me may be terrible for you, but it's okay because we each have different finish lines and different things we want out of this experience. It's about improvement and what that means to each character, not specifically times. Yet, despite this, despite their differences, they're all united under the camaraderie and friendship of being on the same team. Cross country and track are in weird spots, split between being a team sport and an individual one. But while each character may be fighting their own battle, they're never truly alone. Their support for each other, their bond that comes from training together relentlessly keeps them connected. It's a unique story, a large cast that cares about winning, but not too much. 
Each character, even as they're falling in love with the sport, asks the same question every runner inevitably comes across. Why am I doing this? It hurts, and I'll never be the best in the world, or even the best on my team, so why am I pouring everything I have into this? But little by little, with a structure that could only fit a sport that's equally odd, Run With The Wind gives its answer. You may not even realize it's happening, but by the end, you know. Everyone runs for different reasons, and that's kind of the point. Make friends, to relieve stress, for physical health, even for fun, it doesn't matter. We're all running to be better than we currently are, in some form or another. You just have to find out what that is for you, and if you can't put it into words, well, that's okay. As long as you feel the urge to keep going, you found your answer.